here I'm at the church looking for Anne. I was invited to her Bible study and the church is locked tighter than a drum. I am almost all the way around it. I am in the back. Here is the person that they're doing uh, the simulcast event. But, uh, well, no, I mean, she's the one that's, oh. Okay, so this is just a special thing, but she's the one doing the seminar type thing that they're having where they listen to it and they talk about it. But every single door I go to, I hope this one's different. No. Locked. I'm convinced this building is several acres large, <laughs> but I'm making my way slowly around it. It's gorgeous. This door looks a little more promising, perhaps. <gasps> I think it is slightly ajar. Did I find an open door? Yes. I don't think this is the place. It has a lock. <laughs> uh, well, at least we know those kids are secure. It's good. Night, that's huge. It's gorgeous. Wow. But is the door open? Ooh, that was a snowflake that just came down. They're calling for wintry mix tonight and tomorrow. And is the door No, it's locked. <laughs> People exiting the building. Maybe I can go in where they came out. They have a marquee. It's 49 degrees. And I'm 20 minutes late to the Bible study. Welcome! Wow, 5.30. I've never seen a 5.30 one. I wonder if that's a... Anyway, church service at 5.30 on Sunday evening. Yep. There she is. I have been directed to this door. And it is open. Okay. She said, down the hall. To the glass doors so you can't go any further and then up to the left to the third floor. It's a big, big church. I hope I'm going the right way. Okay, up, up, up. Here we go. Oh, I'm gonna slip one upstairs. We might have to abbreviate this. It's got Valentine's Day on the mind. <laughs> Lips, heart. reach the top, there doesn't appear to be any class, but there is a water fountain. Ooh, this sure looks interesting. Ooh, how pretty. I wonder if I can get down there. Yep, I made it down into that beautiful room. Well, I am sorry I missed Anne's Bible study again. I love the book of Daniel and I think that's what they're studying. Um, so I'm just going to sit here in the church and share what we learned last Sabbath in our sermon about the book of Daniel. Uh, the preacher made a point I'd never heard. The book of Daniel, well I had wondered about it. The book of Daniel is sealed. It says at the end, you know, go your way for the words are sealed until the time of the end. It says that in uh, Daniel 12, 9. So, you know, the whole book's not sealed, obviously. We know and understand the story about the uh, fiery furnace, the uh, lion's den. Uh, even Martin Luther identified um, the Catholic Church as the Roman Catholic Church, as the little horn power. And that was well before the time of the end which uh, it's a long story but it started in 1798 so what was sealed well the book says 
in Daniel 8, 826, it says the vision of the evenings and the mornings is true, but that it's sealed, for it refers to many days in the future. And what is the vision of the evenings and the mornings? That's in Daniel 8, 14. It says, what does it say? 8, 14. It says, and he said to me, for 2,300 days, which is literally evening mornings, then the sanctuary shall be cleansed. 